Oh my god, it was heartbreaking. Yeah. I mean, I could cry at that one. I think we were... seeing it was horrible. Horrific. I go to these places and I'll take photographs for Instagram. I haven't done anything today because it's too upsetting. I'm sorry. You need to know what happened. Mm. Bus number, were we? So we've been just dropped off outside the Saigon sky deck. We are in Ho Chi Minh City, formerly Saigon, but still referred to by locals as Saigon. Um, it's been an interesting journey, hasn't it? It's been, it hasn't. It's been a long journey. It's taken about two hours and 15 minutes to get here from the cruise ship. There were traffic jams, yeah. there were bikes all over yeah. the place, scooters, yeah. everybody rides scooters Madness, here. Madness, the traffic, <laughs> I've never seen traffic like it, it's, it's wow. So, that was good fun and en route also you see lots of interesting things, mm. we saw rice fields, we saw little shops, there are sort of shacks, mm. there's still, a, there is a lot of litter and plastic isn't there oh, by the roadside? yeah, there's loads of litter and plastic by the, yeah. And it's a it's shame because it is a beautiful country, um, but we now only have about four hours. Mm. We've got a little walking tour that we're going to try and do. Mm. Um, there's a few sites to see. Mm. I think we need to, we need to get on really, don't we? We do, we do. Okay. Let's go. You can just see the fumes in the air from all the traffic. There is so much traffic. I don't think I've ever been in a city where there's been quite this much traffic. Yeah, it's very interesting. A load of street trades at the side of the, uh, the road. There's scooters parked in every square inch that you can, uh, you can imagine. We're on our way now to Bentham Market. Benthan Market is it? Yeah. We're looking to do the War Remnants Museum to have a look at the Reunification Palace. And what else is on our hit list, Lisa? Um, the post office and some gardens. Post office and, and some gardens. House. And the Opera House. So much to do. I wonder if I'll be insured <laughs> vlogging when I get run over. <laughs> so this is where we're looking to go, the Benthan Market. And we've only got to cross this road here. No problem. And we lived. Oh God, that was madness. Like a car came within a, a centimetre of me. We lived to tell the tale though. Wow, this place is weird. So here we are at the Bentham Market, very popular with tourists. Our tour guide told us that you need to uh, need to haggle. You can probably get around 70% off a lot of the prices that are shown. So that's a fair old uh, a fair old whack. <coughs> I'm not particularly one for haggling, so I probably just won't buy anything. <laughs> but we have got some dong, we converted a few dollars that we'd got. Yeah, we converted, we converted through, uh, $30 and we've got 720,000 dong. I'm not sure whether that's good. Um, what? 
we're practically millionaires. I reckon another ten dollars, we'd have been uh, we'd have been dong millionaires. There's a real crazy mixture around here of opulence and money, and then a complete absence and, and lack of money in other places. So coming in on the coach, I saw some really top end shops like Chanel and you know all the really big designer shops. And there were shops like this, which looked really expensive. And then a couple of doors down, you've got like real poverty going on. It's, it's rich and poor next to each other. It's, it's amazing really. You don't get to see that in many other cities. We've now entered the Tau Dan Public Gardens. Well, we, we think we have. <laughs> We're not entirely sure, to be honest. There was a sign saying Tau Dan. There are another couple of words. Yeah, but the picture that I've got doesn't look like this, so... Ah, oh, but it's a biggish park. Here we are, intrepid travellers, prepared to get lost. You keep veering back into the sun. I keep veering you know, back you into know the what? sun. When, when we're in England oh. and it's freezing cold and it's a sunny day, Giles walks in the shade. When we're in a, a 32 degree hot country, he's going into the sun. It's very hot and as you can hear, Lisa gets flustered. <laughs> to be fair, it is hot Chi Minh City today, isn't it? Very. Ooh, there's lots of sculptures there mm. in this park. I mean, it is very pretty in a big city. I'm not sure we're in the right place, to be honest, but we're in a green space that's pretty. So we've just been to the toilet behind us, which is in the park, and that cost 5,000 dong each, so 10,000 dong, which is about 30, 40 pence. It's a good job that we got some currency. Yeah. So our advice would be, Definitely if you are coming to, to Vietnam, bring some currency. You don't need a lot, but this garden is very zen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There's lots of nice uh, sculptures and flowers, and we're gonna have a wander over there. It looks like there's a temple as well. 5,000 dong to open your third eye in a zen garden. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Just to escape the madness of the traffic. Yeah, this is a, a moment of calm. Oh, definitely. Our bladder's empty and our heart's full. Gosh, it's nice to be at a, a temple and there's not another 100,000 people around you. I found a job. Uh, oh, wobbly! Yeah. It's wobbly! <laughs> I'm a lovely man. So what's so special about a post office, I hear you ask? Well, let's go inside and take a look. So some handy information, there's something which is a tourist information tour desk. So if you do want to go, uh, and then there's a hop on, hop off bus. Counter next door. But this is the post office. A bit different to our post office. It is. In WH Schmidt. Yeah, still got the queues though. Yeah. Mm, the obligatory fridge magnets. Looks like a map of the Saigon River and uh, Saigon City itself.
after. I've been stopped about a dozen times to see if someone can uh, shine my trainers. I thought they were quite clean, to be honest. I'm, uh, I'm insulted. That's probably not the point, though. So I've had a cream salted coffee. An iced coffee is really, really nice. I think it was um, 165,000 dong. Again, not sure how much that is, but it's very nice. About 30,000 dong to a pound. So it's going to be about five pounds. Yeah, probably about five pounds. And I've had a Saigon fruit cocktail, and there's lots of uh, lots of interesting fruits in this. Let's give this a go. I say fruit cocktail. There's no alcohol in it. All my life, that's lovely. That's really nice. You'll try it. We're on our way to the War Remnants Museum where there are displays about the uh, Vietnam War and showing some historical remnants and, uh, of those times. Oh, it's hot though, isn't it? It is. It's hot and busy. <laughs> So we've arrived at the War Remnants Museum. It costs 40,000 dong uh, per person to get in. Our tour guide said we should start on the third floor of this building in front of us, and we will then um, work our way down and then have a look around the outsides where there are planes and, uh, and all sorts of interesting things. So we're going to start with historical truths. Lots to go and see. The bit we've just been to about Agent Orange is absolutely horrific. We've been quite shocked about the effects of Agent Orange on the environment and more so on the people that it's uh, affected. And that's not only the Vietnamese, that's US and Korean soldiers as well and Cambodians. This is a very thought-provoking museum, isn't it? The documented cases of torture that were meted out in these prisons are horrific. Uh, I was going to record some of it, but I think it's awful. So we're now outside the museum and in the sort of uh, forecourt area of here, there's some tanks and some planes and some military hardware um, that were captured from the US. Before I went in, I was going to have a look at these things, but just seen the horror and monstrosities that were committed yeah. by these things. I've got absolutely no interest in taking a look at them. Um, we're going we're gonna to leave the museum now. It's, 
It's a difficult museum it is, to it's go really to. Upsetting. And it does make you think we really haven't learned any lessons as, as human beings. It's such a such a tough museum, but worth coming. And for forty thousand, what's that? It's one pound fifty to get in. It's 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 nothing to get in. So uh, we're going to carry on now. Yeah. We're now back at the Ben Than Market. We've got about 50 minutes left, so we've got some dong to spend. I don't think we're going to get anything from the wet market, Lisa, are we? Or anything for the new year? What do you think we're best buying? No idea. We're coming with an open mind with our dong. I do quite like the hats. That would be quite cool for gardening, do you think? in those three days of summer that we get. This end of the uh, market, that'll make you a suit or a dress in one day from any of this material here. Oh, hi, my name. We've just spent our last dong on some t-shirts. I don't know whether it was a good price or not, but it was the price we paid for two coffees for two Hard Rock Cafe t-shirts. So we're getting back on the bus. After another busy day, I think we'll need a sea day tomorrow to get over this. I've got rid of the, uh, the last of my dong. Love that word. He's gone home now. The guy's yeah. gone home now because we gave him so much. I gave him so much dong he's had to go home. Yeah, we didn't even ask him how much they were. We just handed over all our remaining cash to him. So He's probably made more in, a, in an hour than in a week. Well, we're happy. Yeah. He's happy. We've just got back on the ship from our day out in Ho Chi Minh City and that's our, our one and only stop off in Vietnam and wow we've got a lot to process. Yeah. We've seen some really fascinating uh, snapshots. We've seen the War Museum and we'll, we'll go through the, the bits that we've seen. So sign off, it, it is chaotic. It's absolute chaos, isn't it? It's carnage. Crossing the roads, you take your life into your hands. Yeah, I've never, you know, I've never in all my two years on this planet been anywhere, anywhere so frantic as Ho Chi Minh City. I mean, at one point, I crossed the road with a local and he was on this side of me and Giles didn't cross and we were, it was like I was on a motorway. It was like I was crossing the M1 motorway and this guy knew exactly to weave through. The cars were weaving through us and the scooters were weaving through us and I thought to myself, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. You're going to, um, you've it got was, to have trust and faith that people I, are going to weave around I you. I just followed the local guy and my God, I was so grateful that I got onto the other side of the road. You know, it was madness. I've never ever experienced that before. So that was our, that was our <laughs> first experience. So then we went to, we went to a park and we did end up in the right park and that was pleasant wasn't mm. it that was a nice little yeah. zen park and yeah. we had a, a wander around there looked at the statues and enjoyed that and from there we went on to the war remnants museum and that was that was a tough i mean we've said it before but that was a a tough experience but a necessary yeah. one i think i'm so glad that we went it leaves me asking more yeah. questions. Um, you know, you see the American films about Vietnam, you know, Good Morning Vietnam, Robbie Williams, and, you know, 
all that sort of stuff. Everything we know about that has always been from the American point of view. Mm. And today we saw it from the other side and oh my God, it was heartbreaking. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I could cry at, at what I'm, I think what we were, I'm seeing. It was horrible. We horrible. Were both Sorry. feeling really emotional yeah. in there. And the effects of Agent Orange, um, throwing toxic dioxin onto <laughs> all of the, the, the land um, to Just to destroy the land and to, to kill people and the effects and even people that have been born in this century are suffering the yeah. genetic mutations yeah. that are coming with, with Agent Orange and some of the pictures, uh, I'll probably end up blurring them out, I did, I did video some of them but I think it was, it's a tough a, a, a tough yeah. museum, I you mean, know, the, I mean, the, the torture of the prisoners yeah. as well. And, and, and they were doing this to women and babies and children and old people. It, it was horrific, horrific. Uh, I mean, you know, normally I go to these places and I'll take photographs for Instagram. I haven't done anything today because it's too upsetting, I'm sorry. Mm. Please. It, it's, it, I'm so glad that I've been to, um, to, to, to understand what happened mm. and it's left me really emotional but you know if you're coming here go go and see that because you need to go and see it you need to know what happened mm. it's important definitely yeah. definitely yeah definitely. and from there we we mm. looked uh, we just looked at the um, I was going to say Reformation Palace, but it, yeah. Reunification yeah. Palace, yeah. and that's sort of it's a 1950s, 60s building. Yeah. It's, it's not particularly uh, pretty, but it's important. Um, then it was Notre Dame Cathedral, which unfortunately was covered. Then it was the post the office post we went office, to. Yeah. It's yeah. a little bit of a tourist trap, but interesting nonetheless. Yeah. But yeah. I think one of the things is it's a two-hour drive to get from the port where we are to Ho Chi Minh City and that puts a lot of people off because you think well that's four hours on a coach you know two hours there two hours back it's a big chunk out of your day and it is a big chunk out of your day but what I would say is we found the drive there and the drive back really interesting because yeah, as you're driving past you see on the street side with the shops and with the people and with the houses little vignettes, vignettes. of their life yeah. as you as you zoom by yeah. and you'll go past and go what was that I, and you just keep asking more and more questions, questions of yourself you know what what's that why is somebody doing that what's that that they're selling why is there a place selling bags of cement next to a jewelers it's it's just a real crazy crazy place and we've just been talking about yeah. it and we feel we want to sort of go away and learn more about yeah. the country you know we've had a real snapshot visit and and we've said before that cruising isn't isn't being a, a, a traveler that's you know you go and you see the things that you're put in front of you and you know you go and see the highlights and all the rest of it but this has been really a fascinating experience and I think we've got to go back and process some of the stuff yeah. we've seen and find out more read about up more Vietnam. and put a bit more Definitely. context be behind it and I've got to say the people here have been lovely they've been really mm. um, welcoming and friendly the street vendors and yeah <laughs> you get a little bit of you know pushing and with the, the haggling and the uh, <laughs> and all that with the markets <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we're up getting two uh, two t-shirts in the end didn't we yeah and, yeah and I think we paid a lot lot more for them because I think the guy packed up and went home afterwards but, the, but, but it didn't matter because we're giving these people some money and I well, think the crazy thing the is money. That, I mean yeah we probably we probably could have haggled him down or had three t-shirts we could have got with four or five t-shirts yeah. probably but it didn't matter because it worked out they were four pounds each yeah so it's in the grand scheme of things that's yeah. that's nothing if, yeah. the, if the guy's had a good day Definitely. he's had a good day Definitely. Um, so yeah, if you're coming to Vietnam, don't stay on your cruise boat. Don't be put off by the long drive to Ho Chi Minh City. 
go and yeah. go to that war remnants museum and just just you know go and see for yourselves what atrocities happened mm. i know it's hard and it's upsetting but i just feel like people need to know people need yeah. to know yeah anyway on a lighter note if you've enjoyed this video and you want to watch some more content from our Southeast Asia tour, please like and subscribe and mm. click here. Um, thank you very much for watching and coming with us to Vietnam. Um, we've had a really interesting yes. time and yeah. we hope to see you again very soon. Yeah, take care everyone. Bye. Bye. Oh, and be kind to each other. Yes, we still haven't learned, have we? <laughs>